Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Cam Room 5. Last time we were doing some past paper questions for the electrophilic addition reactions. We started with some MCQs where we looked at how the intermediate could be stable depending on the inductive effect. Then we did some questions about why pi bonds are reactive and why sigma bonds are less reactive. Then we did the mechanism including the partial charges, lone pairs, the carbocation intermediate and then the major and minor product. And then we came to the conclusion that it is the inductive effect which decides whether the intermediate is going to be stable or unstable. In today's video, we'll do the electrophilic addition reactions, but generally for other compounds. So we'll be talking about electrophilic additions of alkenes, but we'll be using various reactants with alkenes. So let's start with an alkene, which is very clearly asymmetrical. I would recommend you guys thinking about the name of this alkene. When we name it, we obviously number the carbon atoms. So let's say if we number it in a way, carbon 1, starting from the double bond, carbon 2, and then carbon 3. So this becomes our longest chain. And then obviously, we have a methyl on carbon 2. So if I am not wrong, the name of this compound turns out to be 2-methylprop-1-ene. It's an asymmetrical alkene because you can see that both carbons have different alkyl groups. Let's highlight them with red and yellow because we are going to focus over here. Our first reaction is going to be as a revision of hydrogen bromide addition. If we add hydrogen bromide, we know the carbon-carbon double bond breaks down. The methyl remains the same position. The hydrogens remain the same position. You will have bromine on carbon number two and hydrogen on carbon number one. To make it more significant, the red carbon gets bromine, the yellow carbon gets the hydrogen, and that is our major product. This is our major product. We know that there is a minor product also possible and where the minor product, the hydrogen and bromine, would switch places. Another reaction is with hydrogen gas. We call it the hydrogenation or addition of hydrogen. So let's write the name of this reaction. It is called addition of hydrogen or we call it hydrogenation. We do it in order to convert the alkene into an alkane. The conditions we use is nickel catalyst in the presence of 200 degrees Celsius. Again, the entire compound remains the same. The two carbons, the methyl remain the same. The hydrogens of carbon one remain the same, but you will have two new hydrogen atoms on both carbons. To make it again more significant, the red and yellow carbon each get one hydrogen atom. It's not an alkene anymore. It's now an alkane. It's alkane, by the way. So it won't be 2-methylprop-1-ene. It would be 2-methylpropane. There is no carbon-carbon double bond here. Just as an afterthought, this reaction does not follow the electrophilic mechanism. It's a very different mechanism. So let's write that. This reaction, <coughs> this reaction follows free radical mechanism, but it's not in our syllabus. So I'm not going to be talking about this a lot. Another common reaction is the reaction of alkenes with steam. So when you talk about the reaction of alkene with steam, we know that we have done this in O-level syllabus. We call it the hydration reaction. We call it hydration or obviously addition of steam. The conditions involve 300 degrees Celsius and phosphoric, phosphoric 5 acid. Phosphoric 5 acid is the catalyst here. Again, everything will remain the same, 
both carbons their methyls the hydrogens of carbon 1 the red and yellow carbon but we should know that actually water is a combination of H and OH so the H from water reacts as an electrophile the H of the water molecule behaves as an electrophile while the OH behaves as a nucleophile the H positive accepts a lone pair so it's an electrophile the OH later behaves as a nucleophile so we know that carbon number one which has very less inductive effect should get the hydrogen so it gets the hydrogen while the carbon number two the carbon number two the red carbon which has two methyl groups you can see it has two methyl groups it will have higher positive inductive effect because of more alkyl groups so as a result the OH will attach here the name of the compound is what we should know so if you notice this compound if I zoom it in you will be able to see that there are three carbon in the main chain and there's a methyl which I'm making a star on this is a methyl as a branch so you will be able to notice that the name turns out to be methyl and alcohol both have to be named right so two methyl because there's a methyl on carbon number two so two methyl then you call it propen because it has three carbons and then you call it two ol two methyl propen two ol because it is alkane with hydroxyl group on it now going back to the main structure yeah this is again the major product don't forget to notice this is again the major product in the minor product the OH and H will change their position so the propanol would be made but instead of carbon 2 the OH will be carbon 1 the last reaction that we should know is with bromine whether it's case uh, whether it's aqueous or it's gaseous we don't need a catalyst here because addition reactions happen without catalyst in, in case of bromine by the way not not in general when you talk about bromine one bromine atom attaches on one carbon of the double bond the other attaches on the other side so both carbons get one bromine each and you don't have to worry about the major minor product because both carbons are getting the same bromine atom H here H here and then let's put a three here this is our carbon number two the red one yellow carbon is carbon number one both carbon get one bromine atom each now if you try to name it you would be able to know that again there are three carbon atoms numbering it one two three there's a methyl on carbon number two so we call it one two dibromo one two dibromo and then we talk about the methyl so it's a two methyl one two dibromo 2 methyl propane the name should be a single phrase but I don't have enough space that's why I'm doing that so in this short video we revise the reactions of electrophilic addition of alkenes except for one the first reaction we talked about included reaction with hydrogen bromide to make the major product which is a bromo alkene we know there could be a minor product also possible the second reaction we talked about was a very different mechanism and that reaction was addition of hydrogen or hydrogenation in the presence of nickel catalyst and 200 degrees Celsius to make alkanes. The third reaction was known as hydration where we used 300 degrees Celsius and phosphoric 5 acid as the catalyst to add 
alcoholic group which is the hydroxyl group again we have a major and minor product here so major product would be made based on the Markovnikov rule and minor product would be made obviously which does not follow the Markovnikov rule the last reaction we did was addition of bromine the bromine could be gaseous or aqueous gaseous bromine has obviously two bromine atoms so both carbon atoms get one bromine each to make a dibromoalkane we call it the addition of bromine so I hope we have revised the alkenes now and in the next video we'll be talking about the oxidation of alkenes which is a very interesting yet a little tricky reaction. Stay tuned guys. Thanks.